Heather was uh, showing me a bit of Disney Dreamlight Valley, and Merlin just never shuts the hell up. And he's Did always she show you Donald? Yeah, she showed me Donald like um Donald like did like a stage dive. Mm-hmm. And then slid Vibrates across. Vibrates rapidly on the ground. Mm-hmm. And then steam whistle noise. And then <laughs> screaming. She hasn't shown me his actual freak out. There... Like his, his tantrum. <laughs> He's... In the, in, in the, and he the, just does in that. The... We did like a we we were looking at patch notes for that a while ago, and yeah. uh, Donald's tantrums don't go on so long. Yeah, was what was a, a patch note. Mm-hmm. So th- I, th- this is the shorter patch. This is the shorter tantrum. But, but it I... doesn't stop him from like phasing through the environment because he tripped and he started sliding on like a path, yeah. and then he just picked up speed. Yeah. Didn't slow down due to friction. He picked up speed and went up the stairs and off off the other side of the screen. When I'm hanging out with Maui, I can't go into my own house because he will block me in the doorway. <laughs> you can't <laughs> push them. Yeah, He's just so, huge. You ever been so angry that you just clipped through a wall? And the frustrating part is that when... If you if you try to get him to get out of the way, he just stands there and keeps saying you're welcome. Yeah, like it's very passive aggressive. God, and you have to deal with like Rapunzel's nasty mom. She's like the fifth person you file, Mother Gethel or whatever. Yeah, that's yeah, the Mother Gigo awful. thing is where that came from it's for me. So, so terrible. <laughs> I hate her. <laughs> why why are we getting all of those characters specifically? It's very odd. Well, it's like, this whole thing about like everybody's lost their memory, so they don't know whether they're villains yes. or not. Yeah, it was Ursula the pops out of anything that's water, <laughs> right? And everything, even that's little water. little puddles. Mm-hmm. That's really fun to see her little face <laughs> pop up. It's really annoying when you're trying to like interact with other stuff in the environment because it'll prioritize talking to harvesting. Right. Oh, great! If you just have like a mug of hot cocoa, we'll. She just like appear in there for you. Yes. I feel like this should be a this should be like a this should be like an example that even if you're Disney and you have billions of dollars, making a video game is hard work. <laughs> right? It's true. You, oh, but just they're being like, oh, this game sucks. It's like, no, 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 no. Look it at it, what it though. is. It doesn't and suck. The the little the little dopamine drops, the little progression nuggets that they give you happen at the perfect time. Mm. Uh, the minor problem is that they don't stop you at any point, so you can just run through all of the content if you're working hard. Ah. Uh, I haven't done that. I'm smart and only do like 10, 15 minutes a day. But, uh... The... Yeah, other people. The, uh... Um, I remember seeing some, I think it was somebody, a tweet or something about that when, about, uh, like the metaverse stuff, just being like, you know, if you, uh, if you're working on a video game or for instance, are working on like second life <laughs> better feel pretty good now, considering like with all their money, all the ridiculous amount of money that Facebook is putting towards the metaverse. Yeah. This is what they've come up with so far. Yeah, Linden Labs has to be feeling pretty good about it's like, yeah, we know what Second Life has been like for people, but look at the alternatives. <laughs> uh, we should all go back to Pac Man. I mean, Which the statues. One? Talk about the Pac Man oh. statues. I was going to say, Pac Man quite famously has a big glitch in it. Well, the, the giveaway is just about levels. to end, so yeah. if people are interested, they should get in now. Yeah, get in now. Remember that there's various latency on us talking, so you should really go now. Because it's no. Time. Do you know when Pac-Man had legs? Wait, did he lose his legs? Pac-Man's there's some, got legs. There's some official. There's some official yeah. art, I think. I think yeah. even like the first Pac-Man case had him like. Yeah, the the, the yeah. arcade thing. He had two feet. Uh, he was like kind of like a weird like 
like bulbous Kirby kind of idea that he was just like, like this weird and he had two feet. Bulbous there was like a another- Kirby. Yeah, like That's- Kirby like a ball, but not a bulb. Kirby like a ball. Kirby like think- a ball. Pac Man like Pac- a bulb. I think Pac Man has always had legs. It's just the resolution of the original games was not sufficient to illustrate them. Oh. Yeah. I mean, I remember seeing the original like arcade cabinets that had Pac-Man on the side of him. I'm like, he doesn't look like that at all on screen. Oh, wow. Why would you do that? Why would you draw him like this? He doesn't look like this at all. <laughs> the, at least... I like that. I feel like uh, it was nice when we got to the point in video games where the graphics in the game could come close to the stuff that was on the box. Ah, yes, the 16-bit era. <laughs> Remember Aladdin? They kind of nailed it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Ah, all right. Yeah. That's true. Maybe in the game, you're looking at it from a top-down perspective. But then why does his mouth open that way? Is he standing like this? <laughs> his mouth opens sideways. And the ghosts are all sliding around on their bed. Or... Or it's like it's holographic in that every angle you look at the being like it just always looks that way to you. Holographic like billboarded? Yes. I think I know what you mean. Yes. Billboard is where you take a quad and then you always face it towards the viewpoint. Mm. That's kind of like, um, is that like in Duke Nukem 3D where all yeah. the aliens always look like they're facing you? Yeah. Or like the uh, spectators in driving games. Ah, or like Mickey Mouse's ears. Or Mickey Mouse's ears. Yes. Which Astro apparently hair. in uh, Disney Dreamlight Valley that does not happen. You can you can walk past Mickey and his ears stay where they are. And you can see what Mickey looks like with his ears in a different position. Yeah, they've also got Minnie Mouse stuck in a dimensional rift, so whatever. That's She's probably a more force serious. ghost wandering around. Whoa. That's not cool. Does that also, mean, wait, she Pac-Man died in front of Luke? Pac-Man with a body, not cool. Uh, yeah, Pac-Man with a body, definitely not cool. <laughs> it's surprising that no Kingdom Hearts people have shown up in Disney Dreamlight Valley. I feel like that's something that could definitely happen. It's a little, it's a little like a Sonic storyline. To to be honest, it's just like, oh, wow! If we don't get the Chaos Emeralds, everyone's gonna be caught in the Chaos Zone. Except it's like, ah, uh, the Night Thorns are growing, and the forgetting is happening. And if you don't trim these hedges, then you won't get your friendship level up with Goofy. Are we sure? And that's important for some reason. The well, years. you can't do more of that guy from Frozen whose name I can't remember's quest unless you get your friendship level up with Goofy. Kristoff? Yes, Kristoff. The Is reindeer but- man. He he and Goofy are like friends? And so no, he won't, he their won't individual <laughs> quest lines are gated by friendship levels with themselves, other people, and story events. And so they're like, I don't want to... I, want yeah. to be, I don't want to be friends with you until you're friends with my friends. Well, it's like, we can't go on our next little adventure until you've unlocked this area of the map, this character is available, and you're, like, level five with Scrooge. <laughs> All right. But it tells you. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. Just to be clear, Corey, you're level five with me. Oh. Uh, it goes up to ten. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I almost said it, but I didn't. <laughs> You're like half a friend. <laughs> Are we sure this isn't like just an elaborate ploy? You got Isekai'd into Dreamlight Valley and they're like, oh, we got a live one here. Uh, Finally! We all, for- we all forget who we are. Can you please um, do our yard work? Mm. Or maybe it's like a, it's like a, a karate kid kind of situation, you know? Mm. You'll find that that you know cutting the cutting the hedge is actually training you ah uh, yes for secret training well okay yeah they kind of are because 
uh, the watering can so far has upgraded to destroy like five different obstacles for me. Really? I just wow. had to become really good friends and then make special dream dust and crystals with with Mer Merlin. And then, and then, and then he made my watering to... can get rid of giant clusters of mushrooms. 